We're learning that there's rain going on in some yeah. of them. Uh, we've got early warning pinpoint Doppler zoomed in here uh, to southeastern Connecticut, Middlesex, New London counties. Uh, some brief downpours moving into Montville just south of Colchester over Haddam down Route 9 toward uh, Chester and Essex. Another little downpour to the southwest of uh, Middletown. Uh, so that's going to all be heading toward the east and southeast. Not going to last long. Shouldn't have any sort of impact on any sort of, say, outdoor evening plans that you may have. Meanwhile, we're dry in Hartford. We've got 64 in the capital city. West northwest wind at 15. Our view from New Haven. You can see lots of sunshine reaching the uh, green there in the Elm City. Things are starting to green up as we look at those trees along the the, uh, the edge there uh, 67 west wind at 15 certainly moving the flag around and looking skyward from New London as we check in on the tugboats uh, more clouds than blue sky at this point the temp right now at 68 degrees so warmest along the shoreline because the wind is off the land as opposed to off the water a big change over the past couple of days meanwhile elsewhere inland we've got 50s in the northwest hills and 60 to 65 elsewhere so uh, that wind west northwesterly right now sustained between 15 and 30 miles an hour so the wind will be a factor this evening uh, and it is sending some slightly chillier air into the state. So the, the worst of say the cold and the wind comes tomorrow morning as temperatures dip into the upper 30s and low 40s. But then after that uh, conditions improve markedly for the rest of our Saturday and as well for Sunday. So we've got this big area of low pressure moving up across the Canadian Maritimes uh, swinging a series of cold fronts in our direction. So that lifts away as high pressure from the west builds in. So that's why the wind will start to subside as we head through the day tomorrow. So future cast as we head through the overnight time frame, there is a chance with a little disturbance pivoting through for a rain or snow shower while we're sleeping. It will be brief. It's happening after midnight. It will be ending well before daybreak. And then as we head towards sunrise Saturday, we should see plenty of sunshine in the morning and right on through the afternoon before a few clouds begin to develop. Then another little disturbance moves through tomorrow night. That could touch off a sprinkle and isolated shower again while we're sleeping. So the daylight hours of both Saturday and Sunday right now looking pretty good. Sunday, however, will feature more clouds than tomorrow. We'll say a mix of sun and clouds. There could be times where on Sunday there are more clouds than sunshine. Uh, so temperature wise tonight dipping to the upper 30s in the usual colder spots of northwest and northeast Connecticut. Low 40s elsewhere inland uh, between 40 and 45 along the shoreline tomorrow afternoon cooler than today, but again, the wind diminishes as the day moves forward. So uh, 60 to 65 should do it for us coolest in the uh, in the northwest hill. So in our early warning seven day forecast on Sunday, inland temperatures could reach or exceed 70 with that mix of sun and clouds. And then for Monday of next week, late in the day, there's a chance for some showers, not a washout by any means. Temperatures uh, near perhaps above 70. And then for Tuesday into Wednesday, we've got some timing discrepancies with regard to chances for rain as it looks like a fairly active weather pattern pattern setting up for a couple of days with a series of storm systems that are going to be moving through southern New England. And then as we head toward Thursday, a drier, brighter day. And then uh, for next Friday, watching a potential coastal storm that could bring rain and some chilly temps to the region. Uh, for shoreline highs this weekend, again, Sunday, milder than tomorrow, and then 60s for much of next week. Okay, Mark, thank you very much.